Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be showing you guys around our neighborhood GO train station, Old Comer. This smaller station on the Richmond Hill GO line may not be the most glamorous, but we, we love it with all of our hearts. And there are some interesting things to talk about. Come along for the ride! Located in North York, Oak Comer is one of the stations on the Richmond Hill Go Line, nestled in between Oriel Station and Langstaff Station. Originally opened in 1978 along with the rest of the line, the station has been pretty much untouched besides the normal upgrades and maintenance. Fun fact, the namesake of this station is Jacob Comer, who, along with his family, were some of the earliest settlers in this neighborhood of Willowdale in 1797 and owned a sawmill on the Don River near the present-day Cummer Avenue, just a couple of blocks down the road from this ghost station. We're here on Finch Avenue, one of the arterial east-west roadways in the whole of Toronto, and the namesake of Finch Station, the most used station in the whole TTC system. Just west of the intersection of Finch Avenue and Leslie Street is where we'll find a bridge and a path that will lead you to the station. This bridge will also allow you to cross the street, so you don't have to go down to Leslie if you want to get to the station. Walking along this long path will finally take you to the side entrance and platform of the station. The side entrance is very no frills, only featuring Presto readers for convenience. The platform is long and can fit 12 cars, although right now there's only one track, and the trains aren't always as long due to the relatively low ridership of the line. The platform features heated shelters, benches, as well as other small things such as signs and departure boards. Most of the interesting features are at the main entrance all the way down the platform though, so let's head over there right now. The main entrance of the station is located on Leslie Street, further north from Finch Avenue and it consists of the station building, some shelters, as well as our parking lot. The station building is relatively small, but it does have a collector's booth that is manned during peak hours, some comfortable seating, washrooms, as well as departure boards. Waiting for trains that come once an hour suddenly doesn't seem so bad when you have access to a nice little station building like this. Outside of the building, you can find bike and people shelters, as well as personal machines, where you can purchase fare. And perhaps the most noticeable feature of the station is the relatively massive parking lot that comes with it. The parking lot has 439 parking spaces and plenty of disabled parking. It seems to stretch on forever, especially when it's relatively quiet like this. In terms of station surroundings, Old Comer is located in a quiet neighborhood in the Don Valley, right under the Finch Hydro Corridor, where you can find a beautiful little trail that stretches to be more than 20 kilometers long along Finch, perfect for a jog or a bike session on a sunny afternoon. The station also has great interchange options with the TTC, with the 39 and 939 Finch buses coming every couple of minutes, and the Leslie bus available as well. The station did used to have GO bus service with the Route 61C connecting it to Union Station, but since it was seen as an entirely local service, it was unfortunately cancelled in 2010. With all these buses on Finch though, it fortunately isn't that much of a problem to get to Union from here. Alright guys, hope you guys liked our little tour of Old Comer Station and the Station Focus series where we detail some of our favorite stations in transit systems. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below to tell us which station you want us to visit next in the series. We really appreciate your support as we push closer to that precious 1000 subscriber mark, where we'll have a surprise for you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.